of taking breaks. Taking breaks helps one manage stress, feel energized and engaged, and can increase productivity. They're important for mental health and preventing burnout. On top of this, they are enjoyable and improve mood. When you feel you have too much to do, it is easy to convince yourself that you do not have enough time to take breaks. However, research has shown that taking breaks of varying lengths, micro breaks, lunch breaks, and full mental health days all have a positive relationship with well-being and productivity. Movement breaks are good for physical health and help promote the release of feel-good chemicals in the brain. Relaxing breaks help restore motivation, reduce stress, and prevent decision fatigue. Social breaks allow you to share experiences, relate to others, and feel part of a group. This shows a positive association with feeling recovered after the break. So what should I do on my break? There is no wrong answer. It is about what works for you. If you dread doing it, it's not a break. So do what you enjoy, not what anyone else tells you should be a healthy or relaxing way to have a break. While my favorite way to unwind may be watching Netflix, for others, taking a bath may be more helpful. And for others, going for a walk may clear the mind. Here are some things that you can try. Taking a bath, listening to music, taking a nap, doing some gentle stretching, trying something new, enjoying nature, calling a friend, scrolling social media or a blog, taking deep breaths, fueling your mind by grabbing a snack, getting some exercise, unplugging to read a book, putting on some music and dance go for a drive, and use your creative expression to paint or draw. Some things to avoid include isolating yourself from friends and family, using substances to cope, overeating unhealthy foods, spending all day reading posts on social media, and overanalyzing the way you spend your break. It's meant to be a break. So what about taking breaks at work? Legal breaks at work must include one 30 uninterrupted uh, minute break and two additional 15 minute breaks during an eight hour shift. But this still leaves long stretches of time in between breaks. Micro breaks, which can be anywhere from several minutes to several seconds, still provide a powerful opportunity to mentally or physically relax and reset before jumping back into your task. They may be as simple as a quick stretch or an indulgent sip of coffee. When you are lost in your work or feel frustrated that something isn't going well, you can neglect breaks. Here are some tips to prompt you to regularly step away and rebuild your energy. Agree break times with your peers and help each other to stick to the break time you've agreed. Set an alarm on your phone to prompt you. Plan to do something in your break that you enjoy. The anticipation of pleasure will motivate you to keep to the break. Pay attention to any benefits you experience when you take a break. This will lodge in your mind and motivate you to take breaks in the future. As you take breaks, be mindful of the results. Which kind of breaks seem to help you become more creative? motivated and productive? Which kind of breaks just seem to be disruptive to your work? We're all different, but we all need breaks. Before you push yourself to the edge of burning out, here are five signs it's time to take a mental health break. You can't focus, your relationships are suffering, you're showing signs of stress, your self-care no longer exists, or you feel that you're running on empty. If you're concerned that you're headed toward burnout 
or if your mental health is being affected, you may want to bring up your concerns with your doctor or talk to a mental health professional. In the description of the video below, there is a link to further resources. Thank you guys for tuning in.